I've got a question. What's your favourite thing about Christmas? Uh, look, uh, where do I start? Um, presents? We... No. Um, the uh, family? <laughs> Friends? Can be. The kids? Can you look at what's on the table? Oh, it's pretty food! Good. Yeah. Of course, Ali. I'm so sorry. Dan de Graff from Night Honey is here. Good morning, Jane. Good morning. If it's not the food, why am I here, right? No, but because of your <laughs> sparkling personality. Oh, thank um, you. So what have you got today? Because I think it's so interesting, all these colours. OK, so what we're talking about is easy ways to take a dish to Christmas. If you're asked to bring an entree, a side, a dessert, anything like that. And my first tip would always be look for what's, what's in season because yeah. if you're working with what's in season, you're going to get big bang for buck with flavour without any extra work. So it's mm. like a cheat's way of really letting something else do all the work OK, for let's you. start. All right, so I'm working with summer stone fruits today because they are in season. We've got all our plums, nectarines, peaches. And this is my favourite entree at the moment. I love doing this. This is literally some little apricots that I've take, taken, cut in half and put some blue cheese into the middle of. What's the, how would you get the blue cheese? So that's just blue cheese and creme fraiche. You get it from the supermarket, mix it up together, pop a little walnut on top, and then we're going to... Do you want to drizzle those with honey for yeah. me? Oh, They've got some dangerous. tarragon on top, and then just drizzle them with honey. And that is your entree or canapé ready to go. And trust me, the best... The best thing about these is that they're bite-sized. You can pick them up in one hand while you've got a glass of champagne or something in the other. You can hand them around or you can serve a couple on a plate. So you're they're an doing on... a really good job there, Carl. I'm kind they're of impressed. It's beautiful. Very artistic. Thanks, Sally. Look at that. And Jane, I love this little trick. You've just got like a, a sandwich bag. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. You're right. Don't get it all over it. It's blue cheese. It smells. <laughs> I was, I was tempted by this. Um, now, this salad looks absolutely stunning. OK, so this is when you're asked to bring a salad that goes on the table. No, no iceberg and tomato salads, please. There's so many more things you can do. And so what I've got here is some grilled peaches, sorry, some grilled nectarines and some crispy um, prosciutto and go for it, some burratas. I love it. Oh, how good is that? So that's all the sweetness of the fruit and then the creaminess of the cheese and the saltiness of the oh, prosciutto married together. You can prep it ahead, you can grill the things ahead and then put it together when you get to wherever mm. you're going. It's a really easy showstopper of a salad where you don't have to do very much work at all and you just sort of make sure it's all spread around so that's each delicious. little handful has mm. some of everything. It's fantastic. What it's one a of my favourites. looking salad. It's you're going to impress all your friends if you turn up with that. I know, right? But like not as much as if you turn up with this. How do you, how do you even get this to look like that? It's okay. like my grandmother's hair. <laughs> <laughs> so this, everybody loves a pavlova, right? It's a yeah. showstopper, mm. it's a centrepiece. But what I love about this is you can buy the pre-made bases from the supermarket now or get yes. little individual ones. Can I make one? Absolutely, go ahead. This oh. is literally a vanilla pav with vanilla cream and what I'm letting happen here is I'm letting the fruit shine. So I've got peach slices on top and all I've done is sliced those up really <laughs> finely on a mandolin, which is one of these things here and if you slice them up finely you can curl them into little petals and leaves and roses and put those on top and then it's really all that is about is showcasing the fruit that's in season do you want to drizzle some syrup on top for me as of well of this of whichever i've made a peach syrup as well oh, which one, is yeah, yeah which is sugar and water wow. and peaches does it need extra sugar i still feel like there's already a fair bit well i haven't sweetened my cream so some people okay. sweeten the cream i've left the sugar out of the cream and i put it into the syrup and what do you mean Elliot? Top. there you go merry <laughs> christmas <laughs> It's Christmas. <laughs> it's and Christmas. Really? You're going to eat this? I'll yeah. do it. If Go you're for not it. going to. Oh, yeah. Tell get me, it. The, like, the peaches are the thing in that, right? Get it, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you've just eaten a garden. You've let me hang her out to dry. Go on, have a taste. It's beautiful. Or grab some of this. I'm going to grab some of the prosciutto. But really, the secret is just make sure you're using what's in season. Oh, and yes. stone fruits are a mood booster. Yeah. They've got all these nutrients in them that make you feel really good. But <laughs> I reckon they make you feel good just because it's summertime. I mean, there's... Oh, hey, what the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> it's all the cheese! Oh, 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 o